Hey YouTube, Mark from Advanced Electronic. Well, I designed a, a high frequency transformer and what I have here is uh, I have a function generator running approximately 4 volts. Let me make sure that that's correct and I'm not lying to you. Sorry, 7 volts at 97.8 kilohertz. Uh, basically what I have here is I have it'll equalize or uh, finish running up at about 2.8 milliamps that's just the transformers primary um, load of the you know primary coil itself now when I attach the LED that's on the output the load goes down when I disconnect, now here's with it on, when I disconnect, it's going back up. It'll go all the way up to 2.8. So, where's the extra energy coming from? This shows you, here's my connections. That's my only input. Secondary is from the large coil here which is Litz wire. The uh, primary is on the core that's in the center. And as I said, I go ahead and I make the connection. It goes down. Disconnect and it goes back up. We'll pull it back so you can see me do this again. Connect, it goes down. Disconnect, it goes up. Now, I've tried as well, I don't have enough hands to do it, but I have a kilowatt meter on the uh, function generator, and it says it's using 3.33 watts of power to run the function generator. When I disconnect the primary coil, it goes to 26.5 watts, or 2.65, I'm sorry. Um, when I connect my LED, it goes down does not go up so why is it going down it should be going up now this is a 12 volt LED here's the waveform up to 152 volts at 12.4 kilohertz and uh, the mean voltage jumps between minus 48 volts and 51 volts. Now this is a square wave input. When I put the load on, this is the waveform. And you can see the multiple waves on there indicating it's mirrored. So we have one input and several outputs coming out of it. I think that's how we're getting amplification of the energy. Where that amplification comes from, I can't really say. It's drawing energy from somewhere. And this is pretty much one of my uh, experiments that uh, proves that there's energy incoming outside of its source. So we're going to go ahead and connect again. And it goes down. So... Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the load on the LED just itself, which I have to go ahead and rearrange my uh, probes here. But um, Okay, we have function generators going right to the primary now, and this is our return line that goes to the black wire from the function generator. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the uh, meter probe. So 
Now we're doing this the right way, we have to break the circuit to measure the correct load. Now we have one point one six milliamps. Thanks for watching.